This video is about some basic distinctions within philosophy. First, uh, it may be worth pointing out that what I am talking about here uh, throughout this course is sometimes referred to as Western philosophy, as opposed to uh, other traditions that can also loosely be labeled as philosophy. For example, uh, sometimes the term Eastern philosophies is used, uh, but it has been argued that uh, they would rather be uh, better termed wisdom traditions, for example, or something else, because there really is just one philosophy in the sense that the term is now understood. Uh, that tradition is uh, no more Western than science is Western. Uh, there really is only one science in this sense, and similarly, uh, only one philosophy. Philosophers can, of course, be influenced by all kinds of thinking, and uh, no matter the origin of those kinds of thinking. So, um, Eastern wisdom traditions, for example, can, of course, influence and inspire philosophers. Another uh, distinction uh, would be between uh, academic uh, or professional philosophy and uh, uh, personal uh, philosophy of life. Uh, philosophy is an academic discipline, uh, but uh, it can also be practiced by people outside the academic world. The philosophical uh, research is done by uh, academic professionals, obviously, uh, but the personal aspect of philosophy, forming your own philosophy of life, or a life stance, as it can also be called, uh, can and should be practiced by everyone. You don't have to be a professional philosopher in order to think about the philosophical questions and to choose uh, what you think are the best answers for them, for now. Another uh, distinction would be uh, between theoretical and practical philosophy. Uh, philosophy is sometimes divided into theoretical philosophy and practical philosophy. Uh, all of a philosophy is, of course, uh, pretty theoretical, but uh, this so-called practical philosophy uh, refers to the practice of those branches of philosophy that are more uh, immediately connected to everyday life than uh, the subjects uh, studied uh, within those uh, branches of philosophy termed theoretical philosophy. Uh, this distinction is not the same as uh, that between academic philosophy and your own philosophy of life. Uh, although uh, your philosophy of life is probably more involved with uh, the practical philosophy uh, than with uh, theoretical philosophy. Academic philosophers conduct research in all the branches of philosophy. Earlier I mentioned uh, some of those branches that I consider to be the most important branches of philosophy. Uh, the so-called theoretical philosophy uh, includes uh, such uh, branches or fields as epistemology, uh, questions about knowledge uh, and the limits of knowledge, what can be known, and you know, what is knowledge in general. Metaphysics, um, which deals with um, such questions as what is the fundamental structure of reality. Uh, also things like what, if anything, is causation, things like that, uh, very fundamental uh, to the whole of reality. And then formal logic, uh, which of course can also be thought of as very fundamental, but it's about um, 
proper thinking uh, and uh, the formulation of uh, valid arguments uh, so consistent and valid uh, thinking but in a formal manner these are some examples of theoretical philosophy uh, some examples of practical philosophy would be ethics uh, and social philosophy uh, which would be a field dealing with such questions as uh, what would be uh, the ideal way to uh, form societies and how should power for example within society be divided or who should hold power and also uh, aesthetics which deals with questions like what is beauty okay i didn't even uh, give an example of what ethics is about because i'm just assuming that everyone has some idea of what that means <laughs> anyway uh, these lists are not exhaustive uh, of the various branches of philosophy uh, but they should give you some idea of what is meant by a theoretical and practical philosophy uh, some universities have uh, separate departments for these uh, practical and theoretical philosophy uh, for example in the university of helsinki in finland uh, there is a department of practical philosophy in the faculty of social sciences uh, where also reside such disciplines as social work political science and sociology among others the department of theoretical philosophy uh, in that university is in the faculty of arts uh, along with other humanistic disciplines that study cultures and languages and so on other popular branches of philosophy include for example philosophy of religion and philosophy of science to give you some idea of how fragmented philosophy can be uh, most uh, work in uh, philosophy of science is actually done in close connection with uh, specific sciences um, so there is uh, for example philosophy of biology philosophy of mathematics and so on uh, the more general uh, philosophy of science has not been that popular in several decades but it uh, still does exist During this course, uh, I will attempt to give uh, some broad introductions uh, to the most important uh, general branches of philosophy. And within each, uh, there are many different schools of thought and traditions, which can also be seen as basic distinctions or categories uh, of types of philosophy. As you learn the basic questions and possible answers suggested, regardless of the source, um, you can use them as building blocks for your own uh, worldview or understanding of reality. You can then look for more information about those ideas or philosophers you found most interesting. And uh, I also plan to uh, make videos that go beyond high school level even. Uh, mm, and uh, I may include those uh, uh, as additional material for these uh, courses that I'm making, for example, for this course, and or create separate courses for those more advanced uh, subjects. Uh, hopefully, uh, my courses will help you to build your own understanding of philosophy and also your own life stance.